Hello everybody, Shazuz here. I'm out here in my mad science laboratory and before I turn this thing on uh, I'll share a little bit of uh, what, what makes it work. <clears throat> Let me get across here without flipping that switch and electrocuting myself. Anyway, uh, this, uh, this is my plasma reactor and it works uh, on the uh, basic principle as a microwave magnetron and inside a microwave magnetron it has uh, your two wires that go in and it's like essentially like a uh, tungsten element inside there like a, a regular light bulb would have whenever you uh, flip your uh, power on you see the uh, little light bulb element in the center of the vacuum of the bulb itself uh, light up well, on the back half of the magnetron, you have a magnet. And so what's happening is when you put uh, 2,000 kilovolts to the back of this uh, magnetron, it uh, heats up that element and the heat releases electrons inside this vacuum. And the magnetic field from the first magnet begins to spin the uh, electrons around, building up pressure inside there. Of course, you're going to need a place for the uh, electrons to escape, so you got a second magnet on the front of the magnetron that literally uh, attracts the uh, electrons through this direction and then out the antenna, which is down inside of here, right there. Anyway, uh, that's the uh, basic samples of a microwave magnetron. Essentially, a magnetron is a particle accelerator. And so with that said, I created this uh, deal using uh, some uh, cheap copper-coated tin and uh, some uh, neodymium magnets, or neodymium, however you want to pronounce it. But uh, if you notice on this side, let me see if I can get that on the video. I can't tell if that's lightening up for you or not. All right, well, on this side you have the uh, North Pole, and on this side you have the South Pole. Well, so, and at the very bottom down here, there's another set of magnets which are north or south on this side, north on that side. And so, what ex essentially what's happening, I'm firing a uh, 20,000 kilovolt oil burner igniter into uh, what I'm calling my uh, plasma chamber, which is essentially an old burnout uh, bulb with some argon gas in there. And so the uh, energy comes into there, uh, uh, energizes the argon gas, and uh, the magnets begin to swirl it around inside there. And then the uh, energy goes back out the other end down into the uh, primary coil of my uh, transformer right here. And then from there, it goes back into the bulb and keeps uh, making a uh, loop into uh, the uh, plasma chamber, building up energy the longer you leave it running. And so I have a primary coil, a secondary coil, my plasma chamber, and it's being run by a 12,000 volt oil burner, or a 20,000 kilovolt oil burner igniter. So I'm going to get back over here on the other side and do some adjustments and then uh, show you this. Ah! Alrighty. this down here a little bit. This is uh, also running off of the same 12 volt car battery with one dead cell that we've been talking about. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fire this thing up right here. And you know, you know, right out of the gate you can notice the, uh, the plasma build up inside there. Let me uh, see if I can zoom in on this thing. If I can find the uh, deal here. Okay. You can see quite a substantial plasma buildup. I don't know that you can see it via the uh, the video itself, uh, but it's actually swirling around inside there. Okay, that's apparently as far as I can zoom in. Alright, well let me see if I can uh, move the camera here for a second. I can't get my camera too close to it because the field keeps getting stronger the longer it's on. Ah! 
Sorry about the dizzy spell. Okay, let me zoom back out here. Sorry about the rough ride, folks. Uh, let me kill a light or two here. See if you can get a better view of that uh, plasma. Okay, I'm going to zoom in back out. Alrighty, and just like uh, this is a combination of um, microwave. Uh, concepts and Tesla technology using a primary and a secondary and Tesla's uh, theory about baiting electrons out of the earth I have uh, four separate spark gaps on there that I can uh, hook to capacitors to charge up capacitors but in the meantime uh, I want you to try to see if you can see this uh, white light down here it's a pretty high voltage that's just coming off of the core alone and then off of uh, the secondary, let me uh, see if I can get in there better. Let me zoom in. Okay, here's the core. Look real close. You can see the white arc down in there trying to weld itself to the uh, to the core this is off the primary side oh well I guess we got to get that up there where you can see that this is off the primary coil Sure can smell the ozone up in here. Let me see if I can tilt this enough and you can see that spark gap. There's two spark gaps on this side and two spark gaps on the opposite side. Of course, I haven't got it connected to any... Uh, I haven't got it connected to any capacitors at the moment, but this is only the first and second stage of the, uh, of the project here. It's on the back half. Front half. Well, let me zoom out again. I've done it. Don't know how much of that you actually got to see. It's on the back half. On the front half. Just uh, hovering up there in the air. Ah! So you can see the energy pretty good uh, pretty got, it has a pretty good field around there alright well anyway the basics of the whole thing is is that I'm a uh, I'm attempting to use plasma to store a buttload of electrons and charge up uh, a primary and a secondary coil and then I'll explain whenever I get further into the uh, program here I'll, I'll explain uh, in the next video the uh, next couple phases of this process uh, basically uh, it'll lead down into where you can either uh, boil water instantly like uh, using a carbon arc or uh, just a hydrogen on demand system I don't know if you can actually see inside that chamber right there but it, the uh, plasma is getting stronger the longer it stays running and you should be able to, uh, I'm hoping you can see the uh, the energy spiraling inside there because of the magnetic fields that's on both sides and underneath down there 
But there it is, folks. That's a sneak peek at the uh, Shazoo's plasma reactor. There's a guy out there named Keshi who's doing uh, pretty much the same type of uh, experiments. And there's other people out there working on plasma reactors, dealing with hydrogen as well. And when I get mine perfected and uh, all the, uh, the uh, stages to it done, then I'll show you that as well. But uh, this is the beginning of it, and I wanted you to see uh, see it in progress as it goes, and then I'll explain to you and uh, get you the diagrams you need to uh, build it yourself if you like. But there it is, people. Peace and love, everybody. Stay tuned because it's going to get good. Uh, I got a lot of projects in the works, and uh, I think you're going to be pleased if you stick around long enough to find out what it is OSHA's is, is up to. Take care.